Hello bro, so welcome to Ice Bikes here, Bro Production. Next part of Sakura Dungeon. Start corner right here. So we're gonna jump in where we left off. But I also have to say, her smile there, she looks like she actually was pleased of the result of that battle and she trying to seduce me. Seriously look like that. She's still managing to stand upright. However, her battle entire has been completely torn apart. So, I'd lost, huh? That was unexpected. Who are you invaders supposed to be anyway? No one could just uh, casually walk in here like this and emerge victorious. Let's just say that I have an interest in this dungeon. Now then... <laughs> There's still one thing on my mind. Would you care to tell me about this research of yours? I, supp I suppose I have no choice but to... I was studying the device I found uh, on a lower floor. Operating it uh, requires a very specific spell. Uh, I can grant it to you if you like. Very well. With a wave of her hand, uh, she conjures a scroll and gives it to me. You have acquired an operation spell. What is this device anyway? You will see for yourself when you see it. It seems you're far more ambitious than I would have thought. Yes, I was hoping the device would grant me enough power to change this dungeon. Is everyone really that scared? More or less. I'm not afraid anymore. Things have been like this for a long, uh, for so long that I have just accepted it as the status quo. So naturally, I have been working towards this uh, goal slowly, gradually. I did not know if I could defeat the dungeon lord myself, but I was uh, going to try. But it looked like things did not work out the way I intended. She lets out a small laugh and looks at my subordinates. All of you here are pretty strong. Maybe you will be able to beat them. Damn right we will. This dungeon is rightfully hers and we will stop and uh, have nothing to get it back. I motion for her to calm down. But what is going to happen to you? Since I failed to stop you, someone is surely going to notice. Let's just say that failure is not tolerated around here. You may, we, can, we can't just leave her at the mercy of the dungeon lord. It would be unjust. That's very different in that area from when you entered here. But as Sher said, we won't leave you to your fate. What can you do for me then? I place a warp stone in her hands. Head back to the surface. My subordinates will be able to get you far away from this dungeon. How generous of you. The warp stone begins to resonate. Good luck then. Why did you make her your why didn't you make her your servant? Some monsters strong ones if you particularly can react strangely to the uh, capture spell. Sometimes you have a voluntary reaction. So I put in a fel uh, save with the spell to ensure that I won't be captured. <coughs> it won't capture targets who react strangely to it. Oh that's why some monsters don't get captured. Good to know I could have known that before. I see I see. Always a uh, genius with your spells, Yumi. You do not need a constant flatter me, Sylvie. I am merely uh, stating the obvious. I cannot help but wonder if my absence has made her grow even more attached to me. It could be, uh, this could uh, end up being a problem. Please don't end up being a problem. Anyway, I found this in print school at the back. It should serve us well. Fire slash scroll. Hmm. Right, I 
I have to lower the sound. I've not done that yet. Hmm. What? No. Uh. What is this? This? Capacity 25, I think it says Lisa. I think I want to teach uh, Sherry Fire Slash. What? What? Yeah. Alright, we are very weak. How much do we have? Alright, we have one full row, but not on the strongest monsters. this room then we're gonna head back in here and then we're probably gonna take one of the sh one of the stairs down All right you can see that the series uh, health have regenerated the full. So that means pretty much when we walk around, the health generates slowly, but they won't. But they need to actually be up for that. Oh, that does a pretty good. Uh, then across. One mana shot. Oh, it's a fox again. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! <laughs> Yay! I kept another fox! Fox spirits can come in all shapes and sizes, don't they? She is an interesting one for sure. Monsters are born of the land so they have natural connection with it. Especially with animals. Even though it's embarrassing I must admit her method of uh, fighting is quite effective. She touches her face. I cannot say that I ever want to have one of those animals thrown in my face again. What can go wrong uh, will go wrong Sherry. That is simply the way life works. If only we could change the way life works. That would require consultation with electric power. That's not good. As long as, uh, but as long as it's not blood magic or bone magic or any kind of death magic, it's good. Let's not go any uh, further than the top then. Starting the Eldred can be disastrous for the poorly prepared. So I can respect having a healthy fear of it. 
Are you actually sympathizing with me? Just this once. <laughs> There have been one group of prisoners who have been rather rowdy, and they are all focused around one finger. Don't worry, don't worry. We work out a way to get out of here. No one will ever get left behind. She leans in to listen to one of her pet foxes. No, we cannot do that. Leaving all behind so I can get free isn't right. Oh, there's someone there. Eh? Oh, there's someone here. Quick, all of you hide. Sure enough, all of the little animals surrounding uh, her disappeared into surroundings. Impressive trick you did there. You must have trained these little fellows very well. You, you can forget it if you want me to show you my training techniques. No, no, I don't not wish to steal your techniques. What I uh, would rather have you do is work with me. Work with you? Yes, I'm proposing that you abandon your current dungeon lord and accept me as your new one. Well... I'd have to talk to everyone about it. This is a decision that affects all of us after all. She moves up for the animals to emerge from uh, their hiding places. So this is how it is. She wants us to work for her. What should we do? All of them huddle together speaking in short yelps and barks. Well, they seem to uh, be okay with it. And this means we can spend lots more time on the surface. surface. They like to have walkers in the sun, but we haven't been able to do that lately. You may spend as much time as you like on your walks. So we... <coughs> so do we have a bargain? We do. All of us here will be very pleased to work with you. Yay! Alright. Mm, the weakest one I have is the boar. It's very, very fun to hear her listen when we run into things, but... I'm gonna have the fox instead. Right, the fox tamer is a um, Right, Sylvie, fox tamer, bear warrior, cat, and slime. First row is level 9, second row is level 8. But actually, I'm gonna keep the cat girl here, uh, however it works out. Maybe the fox tamer too. <clears throat> gonna save. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm gonna see how Sarah and Sylvia are doing. One thing I've been worried about uh, is how Sylvia handling Sherry. If we uh, take a guess, she would be jealous. After all, she used to come see me frequently back then. She uh, holds me in an almost mythical uh, regard. It is a bit off putting. People praising me extensively is uh, annoying more than anything else. So let's see how these two strong personalities clash with one another. The two of them are sitting at the table staring at each other. I get the feeling that this is not going to end peacefully. Sailor is the first one to break the silence. So what is a human doing here? Let alone an adventurer. I spent my whole life uh, wanting to work uh, with Yumi and some uh, random human who bo <laughs> bubbled in this town gets uh, to as well. How does this work? I do not care about you petty jealousy. I'm here out of necessity. Human defeated me with ease and uh, and chose to spare my life. So now I'm repaying my debt to her. 
Even if I don't want to be here, there's nothing uh, I can do about it. So in the other words, she defeated you and made you her servant? Seems fitting for a human. Oh come on, don't be that evil. Spare me your arrogance. You are the first elf I have ever seen and you've been nothing but uh, unpleasant. Whether you like it or not, you're stuck with me for now. So can we please just try to get along? Sue just pouts to herself. You just don't understand. Do you realize what happens to you? Being able to work with you is probably the best thing that's going to happen in your entire short life. Fine, I see how it is. I'm going out for a walk. Chair leaves the in them. Silly just continues to broad to herself. She doesn't get it at all. What a privilege it is to be working with her. She doesn't get it. I'm surprised that they actually endure better than I thought it would. I was expecting them to actually start a fight with each other. Actually, I expected that too. Oh well, <coughs> it would be uh, absurd to think that my expectations will always be correct. I'm gonna talk to the fox timer. Actually, I'm gonna follow Sherry. Works better for immersion purposes. When we aren't on the ground, Sherry seems to enjoy spending time by herself. In fact, she is sitting uh, in the far corner of the inn right now, enjoying a drink. Walk up to her, I take a seat opposite from where she's facing. Hello Fox. Did you need something? Not at all. I was just wondering how you were doing. You haven't been too overwhelmed by things lately, have you? Well, there has been a lot that I have had to adjust to since I arrived here. Working with monsters like this. It's very different from working with guild members. How so? Well, everyone here seems to have a common goal. And you don't have to deal with the poli politics. Politics, you say? Are the heroes of human kingdom really so divided? They can be. Working with people who have a lot of different motivations and their own goals for what they're doing. Needless to say, you can end up robbing people the wrong way. Oh, come on. Isn't that the joke a little old now? Work uh, together as an uh, unfired whole will strain just isn't very simple. I do not doubt that. Are you worried about me or something? Of course I am. Your subordinates now, I have to look after you. You're my subordinate and now I have to look after you. I appreciate uh, that and all, but it's hard to believe you when you used magic to enslave me. That was just an insurance. After all, I have just surf I was not certain that you were going to attack me again. She lets out a heavy sight. Anyway, I'm fine. Let me know when we're going to head back down into the dungeon. <laughs> That's no problem, Sherry. She returns to her drink, staring into the depths of her tankard. Alright, we have one more to talk to. The fox tamer. The one we just tamed. <laughs> Alright, that was, that was a really bad joke, but we uh, we tamed a fox tamer. And that actually uh, is a little funny. I wonder how the fox tamer is doing. We do have stables near town, just inside the uh, adjust network of tunnels. Back in the day, we held some mighty werebees down there. So it was only common sense to keep them where they would not be able to rampage. The tamer was delighted to her to hear about them. Stepping inside the stables, I find it to be abandoned. I was certain that she would be here of all places. Hello, is anyone here? Oh, it's the boss. Hang on everyone, the voice is coming from inside one of the stables. <laughs> it's uh, actually pretty funny to see the foxes floating around. 
The fox team uh, stumbles out, looking at me with a silly grin. Good to see you again, boss. I was wondering when we were going to hear and be hearing back from you. I look uh, her up and down, noticing her torn clothes. What exactly happened to you? It looks like you've been in a fight. It's nothing. I found a bear and I played rough with uh, me. I found a bear and it played rough with me. But I managed to convince him to see things from my perspective. Animals can be a bit disagreeable, but they're really sweethearts if you know how to talk to them. Have you been capturing random wild animals to put in the stable? I'm not sure if we have the appropriate facilities to care for a bear of all things. Well, you did say that we needed as many allies as we can get, right? Wrestling with a bear seems like a small problem compared to that. So don't worry about me. My little friends helped out with the problem too. We work as a team around here, so everyone does their part. I see your little friends are worried about your modesty. One of the foxes seems to be panicked, blocking my view of her more prominent features. They are like that. Friends look after friends after all. She stumbles a little bit. Oh, I feel a bit dizzy. Bears can hit you pretty hard, you know. I do not doubt that. Please do not <coughs> be so reckless in the future. Don't worry about me, I love working with animals, even if they can be a little difficult at times. What's a few scratches and blows to the head compared to doing what you love? Anyway, it's nice to know that you're worried about me. I just need a nap and I'll be ready to go out for the next expedition. Please tend to your wounds as well. I don't think you can sleep that off. <laughs> well, that was funny. But we're pretty much uh, running out of time. So I will just head uh, down into the tunnels where I plan that we Biting a bag. Oh come on, how do you carry that? That's all we had for Sakura Dungeon this time though, so hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!